Good morning, Ford. Welcome back to another episode of Tiger Eye News in a very, very long time. It's so great to see everybody back in school, so that should make this week pretty exciting. Because of that, our episode is going to be pretty jam-packed, so let's throw it straight to new Tiger Eye member, Anthony Michael Cantrell. He went out to see what people were doing during their quarantine. As you all know, this year has been more than wild. So I've decided to ask around and see how you all have coped with COVID. What have you been doing the most to pass the time during quarantine? Well, I've been watching movies and uh, playing my PS4 since I, I moved here recently and I don't really have any internet. So I usually go over to my grandma's house and get internet so I can download games and play them. Mostly story games though. And I also skateboard down my uh, road to pass the time. Well, uh, and what did you miss the most during quarantine? I uh, missed going to Skateland. It, it got closed over quarantine for about like six months, I'm pretty sure. And I was just like stuck at my house at that time. I had internet, but it was it was really boring since I couldn't go to the Skateland. And whenever it did open again, uh, it changed the time zones. So like I had to go 12 to five and then paid to get back in for th three more hours. So it was like really just horrible. Can you tell us her name, please? Uh, Urban. And Urban, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a junior. All right, and uh, what is something you wish you did over quarantine? Mm, definitely eat less. <laughs> Getting that belly now. <laughs> and uh, what did you enjoy most about having time at home? Uh, definitely not having school, yeah. but and just having time with family and stuff, you know. That's about it. And thank you, Urban. Well, can I get your name for us? Madison Hall. And uh, what grade are you in, Madison? I'm in ninth. All right, and uh, what have you been doing the most to pass the time during quarantine? I've been on my phone doing TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's the longest you've been quarantined for? Three weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jeez. And uh, what did you enjoy the most about having time at home? I got to sleep in. Yeah, so did I, a little bit more than I should have. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're here with Emily. And uh, what grade are you in, Emily? I'm in ninth grade. All right, so what have you been doing the most to pass the time during quarantine? Um, during quarantine, I've just been like spending time with my family and like FaceTiming friends and stuff and binge watching Netflix shows. Uh, anything you've been watching in particular? Um, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> All right, and uh, what did you miss the most during quarantine? Um, I miss being able to sleep in and not having to get up early to come to school. All right. And uh, what did you enjoy most about having time at home? Um, I enjoyed being able just to, like, relax and not really have to, like, worry about anything and just being able to sleep in, really. Great job, Anthony. It's great to see that everybody had at least an okay quarantine. But let's throw it over to Landon as he updates us with everything that we missed over the quarantine. Hello everyone, uh, it's been almost a year since we aired an actual episode of Tiger Eye News and I miss you guys a lot. It's great to see you guys, all the new people, freshmen. Um, I'm excited to get into what we missed over quarantine and excited to catch up with you guys. I know over the course of the quarantine everybody has changed a lot, including myself, so I figured you guys would love to catch up with me just a little bit. Uh, so first off, you know, I quit my job at a restaurant, got a job at a car wash. I figured quarantine would be the perfect time to try something new. And then I didn't really enjoy my job there, so I quit it and got a different job at a different car wash. You know, I couldn't pass up the new schedule and better pay, everything like that. Although I do love uh, all the people and memories I made at the old car wash. Also, whenever I'll get bored over quarantine, I would start watching Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, in 2021 alone, I've probably watched it four or five, maybe even six times. Um, it's just my favorite series. I love it. So last year on Tiger Eye, we had an ongoing joke about how I was going to be single forever and that I couldn't get a girlfriend. But against all odds, I got a girlfriend. 
Uh, don't ask about her. You guys wouldn't know her. Uh, she goes to a different school. But uh, in your face, Kevin. Also, I crashed my car. Um, I'm not going to go into any detail, but it wasn't my fault. Uh, I'm okay. My car is not, and neither is the fire hydrant, but it is what it is. So about four or five months ago, I started working out. You know, Kevin is super inspirational. I saw how, how muscular he was getting, all those gains. So uh, I got into that. My goal is to be as strong as him one day, but, you know, it's kind of hard to do that. So uh, on top of going to the gym, I found out about Waffle House. I found out what all the hype was about. And uh, now I go there almost every day, you know, breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for dinner. Uh, I spend more time at Waffle House than I do at my own house. So, you know, that's a thing. And I'm getting kind of hungry right now. So maybe we can head there after school, Kevin. Uh, but yeah, it was great catching up with you guys. Uh, I'm glad we're all back in school. Glad to start putting out these episodes again. And uh, I'll pass it over to you, Kevin. Thanks very much, Landon. That was very helpful. And I'm getting pretty hungry too, so I'll see you there. See you guys next week. Prom is going to be Friday, April 30th in Tiger Stadium from 8 to 11 p.m. It is a Friday, and we want you guys to wear your masks like they're part of your outfits. Glam them up, make sure they match, and really let's make the best out of the situation. We have to wear masks. So if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. Tickets are $50 and they're on sale now. For the next two weeks, you can get them on Tuesdays and Thursdays during lunch. You can bring outside and underclassmen guests, but we only have 100 tickets available. Prom is gonna be, like we said, in Tiger Stadium. There's gonna be a 40 by 120 foot tent with chandeliers, a full dance floor. We're gonna have some great food for you guys. So come have a good time, dance, and we'll have other stuff for you to do as well. All right, school beautification is coming up on April 23rd, uh, and we're going to be out here from 8 to 12, um, just doing some basic yard work, putting out some mulch, um, you know, trimming up some branches and things like that, just trying to make our school look better. Um, not that it doesn't look good, but you always want to keep it neat and clean and, and looking its best. Uh, and we would love to see you out here. When you get here, there will be student council members out and about um, giving you jobs to do. Um, we'll have some water and some light refreshments for you. So come on out and help us make Fred T. Ford look the best that we possibly can. Thanks.